Hello there folks, my name is David Lupe and today I'm gonna walk you through yet another tech tutorial. We're gonna install Docker on our Raspberry Pi 4. Docker allows you to run containers which allows you to do some pretty nifty things as you'll see in the coming tutorial. To begin, let's remote on SSH username pi at the IP address of your pi okay yes and then the password don't be shocked if you don't see any text as you're typing linux does that okay so let's do an update sudo apt update oops sudo This might take some time depending on how out of date your Raspberry Pi is. Then sudo apt upgrade. Type Y for yes, enter. Next, we're gonna get the prerequisite. So sudo apt get install. All right, and if I didn't make any typos, there we go. This is getting all the prerequisites for installing Docker. Now that that's done, we're going to actually install Docker. So type curl. Okay. Ah, I forgot to do sudo. While it's doing that, let me show something cool about Windows Terminal. So if you press Alt Shift D, it will split it into two panes so you can do multiple things at once. Click the up arrow to show the previous command. So I'm gonna remote into the Raspberry Pi. Okay. And I'll type HTOP just so I can see what's going on with the CPU. All right, so I'm gonna rerun the previous command but with sudo. So the shortcut is to just type sudo, exclamation, exclamation. And it will rerun the previous command as sudo. Okay. You see some errors, but that's not really a problem. Okay, so now we're gonna allow the Pi user to run Docker. So, sudo user mod dash a capital G Docker Pi. All right, that's done. Now we're gonna import the Docker GPG key, and the GPG key allows for secure transmission of information between parties. So type sudo curl https colon slash slash download dot Docker dot com slash linux slash raspbian slash gpg all right that's done next we're gonna set up a repository for docker so sudo nano slash etc slash apt slash sources dot list and we need to add the following line to the bottom of that. So we type db https colon slash slash download dot docker dot com slash linux slash 
Raspbian slash Buster Stable. Oh, there should be a space right here. There we go. And then to save, Control O, enter, and then to exit, Control X. All right, so we'll update the Pi, sudo apt get update. Okay, up arrow to go to the previous command, and then I'll type upgrade. Yes, all right, let's see if we can get the service started. If not, we'll just do a reboot. Systemctl start docker.service into the root password. It may give you issues. Let's reboot the system. So sudo reboot now. Okay. Perfect. Let's reconnect over here as well. And sudo docker info. Okay, we see that Docker is running. And just like that, you have Docker running on your Raspberry Pi. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to leave a like, comment, or subscribe. And I'll see you for the next part of the tutorial.